let me tantalise your taste buds for a moment. Your meal starts with a small plate of succulent king prawns, drizzled with garlic butter. Then the barramundi, grilled to perfection, with scallops and cream sauce on the side. Delicious! Reality check. The cost of your meal, not in money, but in lives. Did you know that the process of delivering that seafood to your plate is estimated to kill over 650,000 marine mammals every year? Did you know that there is a real danger of the absence of marine mammals in our oceans by 2048 if we do not address this issue? The main cause for this is not discussed in documentaries or in the news. It is silenced. Why? Because putting a stop to it would have enormous economic consequences. Life is collapsing faster in the seas and on land. And its main cause is not climate change or pollution. It is unethical commercial fishing. According to research completed this year by the Department of Agriculture, this industry produces over 300,000 tonnes of seafood enjoyed by Australians every single year. Putting that into perspective, that's enough to fill nearly 400 Olympic-sized swimming pools. We need seafood in our diets. It's an excellent source of protein, minerals and omega-3 fats, which reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke and help to maintain good health. However, if we abuse this resource and its environment, a disaster arises. So why, you may ask, is the problem? Unethical commercial fishing does just that. It has negative effects on the environment when advancements in technology lead to greater profit for commercial fisheries, but not for sea life. Overfishing and bycatching nets are the results. The World Wildlife Fund describes overfishing as catching fish faster than stocks can replenish. Consider the impact of this on the food chain. This has a devastating impact due to the lack of food for other marine mammals, such as turtles, dolphins, sharks and whales. This has led to over one third of all marine life being at risk of extinction, and we've already lost over 80 species forever. Corals are also affected as macroalgae smothers reefs. Without enough fish to remove it, a vital source of medicines, food, and shelter for marine life is destroyed. Coastal protection by the live reefs against storms and erosion is also compromised. Not only does overfishing impact the environment, it will also deprive future generations of a vital source of protein and nutrients. Furthermore, the livelihoods of millions of people around the world depends on the ability to fish for a profit. Another devastating impact of unethical commercial fishing is bycatch in nets. Thousands of miles of nets are put into the ocean every day. These nets are extremely effective in catching fish, as well as anything else in their path. Marine mammals such as turtles, Dolphins, sharks, and even small whales are trapped, becoming the bycatch. These animals get caught up in nets, just to be cast aside, dying or already dead. Commercial fisheries may not have any use for these animals, but the oceans do. The World Wildlife Fund estimates that over 300,000 small whales, dolphins, and porpoises die from entanglement in fishing nets each year. This is the single largest cause of mortality for these animals. Thousands of endangered, of endangered turtles drown in these nets yearly, threatening in the survival of these beautiful creatures. Studies show that there has been a 90% reduction in sea turtle population since 1990, solely due to bycatch. All this because some commercial fisheries won't go to the small expense of re-engineering their equipment. Simply making these alterations to their equipment 
can save the lives of thousands of marine mammals yearly. How long can we keep ignoring this issue? When the oceans are lifeless, will we finally take a stand? When there is no more seafood or beautiful marine mammals, will we finally realise our mistakes? By then, it won't matter. The massacre that we caused will be irreversible. Some progress has been made to address these issues. This includes marine protected areas with laws preventing or restricting fishing, allowing the fish in these areas to reproduce and thrive. Many organisations are also working to put a stop to trawling, negating bycatch and saving the environment from the irreversible damage that this process causes. This is a huge issue which may seem too big for any of us to make a difference in. But if we all work together, we can put a stop to the damage that unethical commercial fishing causes. Some of the actions that we can take include use seafood guards and ask restaurants if their fish is sustainable to ensure that you are supporting fisheries that are working ethically. Buy local to promote catch variety leading to less fish going to waste means the less need to be caught and donate to sea life protection organisations such as Greenpeace Australia, the Environmental Defence Fund, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society and World Wildlife Fund. By educating others and spreading the word about this issue and its solutions, we can all work together to lower the mortality of sea life. Changes in the way sea food is caught can make a massive difference in the race to save the oceans. Remember that number. 650,000. The result of unethical commercial fishing practices such as overfishing and bycatching nets. So let me ask a question now. Do you know the cost that comes with your seafood dinner? Prawn entree, barramundi and scallops may cost far too much if action is not taken now. <laughs>